<laughs> Good morning, morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. And we're back. We are back after a, a week away. A week away. Now, we were away last week because something very exciting was happening in store, wasn't it? Lots of things. Loads and loads of things. We were getting rid of the old and in with the new. We have got a brand new oyster stand, brand new egg stand, and brand new prestige stand. So it it, it is massive. We had people on holiday. We did have people on holiday, all kinds of things, but we are back. Yeah. Um, Kelly and I, you will know we love our car seats, don't we? We do. We do. So we've got something a bit different to show you today, and we've got an amazing prize, haven't we? Yeah. Two, uh, you, we have got two winners today, so you could win £25 each to spend on what you like in store or on the website. So all you need to do is join in with the chat this morning and we will draw our winner right at the end. Now we've got Gemma Sandler who said good morning. Morning. And Anita Tooth, I think, and Aston Spicer and Margaret Carr. They are back. Our audience are still here, oh, even though we weren't here for a week. So I'm glad you're still joining us. Yeah, I hope you all had an amazing bank holiday. Anybody do anything exciting? Our store was open. It was the first weekend that you didn't have to have an appointment, although we still had our personal shopping appointments going on as well. And it it, it was good. There was a real buzz it? back in the store. Go a real, real buzz. Mm. So um, let's, um, oh, Victoria okay. Dancer said, morning, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Although I do think it's Monday. My brain is not working. No, yeah. So okay. we're looking at something really exciting, quite a relatively new concept to the market and over the last one out couple of years. Time, this one here. This one here, you may know what it is, you may not. Can you recognise it from the back? But today we Just are flick looking a wing out. at... Flip the what? Flick a wing out. Flip a wing? Okay, I'll flip a wing. <laughs> it's not the yeah. official term. <laughs> Got a bit bossy over the last week, <laughs> Kelly. Look, two wings, look. Yeah, I only wanted one. So, we are looking at spin infant carriers today. And this one here is the Cybex Cloud Z and it's been around for a while now. You know, it's it's Please, definitely yeah. been incredibly popular in store and online. But Maxi Cozy have recently launched their own. We have. This is the Maxi Cozy Pebble 360. Lots of people will know about the um, original three uh, Pebble and then the Pebble Pro, the Pebble Plus, sorry, and then the Pebble Pro. And now this is the Pebble 360. Well, at least they're all called Pebble. Well, yeah, they're just adding, adding words we, to we them. We just, you know, we, we just improve, 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 which is good to see. Now, which one should we start with? Should we start with the old? Not the old. That's Sorry, a bit unfair, isn't it? The original. The original. Yeah, the original, Cloud said. Now, yep. both the seats we're looking at today are eye size seats. They are. Those of you who don't know what eye size I've, is. I've forgotten a bit of paper. You've forgotten your bit of paper, have you? You know what eye size is anyway, don't <laughs> yes, you? I, don't. So let's I didn't it. have that written on there. <laughs> it was more the prices that I had written there. Well, do you want to tell everybody about eye size? And I'll go and grab your piece of paper. Good idea. For you. Good idea. Thank go, you. pass it go. over to me. So, eye size is the newer um, R129 regulation for car seat testing. Um, we've got R44, which is an older regulation, dates back to the 80s and has had improvements um, added to it. And then we're now onto the new regulation, both running side by side. Eventually, the older one will um, be left behind and we'll just have the R129 or eye size regulation. So it now focuses on rear facing for longer. So 15 months as a minimum for rear facing. Um, it used to be nine kilos or nine months on the older regulation. It now goes on the height of baby rather than just on the weight to deter how long they need to be in the car seat. Thank you so much, Jo. I was tempted to um, get a cup of tea while you were talking and leave you here on your own, but that'd be a bit mean, wouldn't no, it? No. Um, you've now got the side impact testing and rollover. It used to just be front and rear um, collisions on the old regulation. What have I done with the iPad? Have you left the iPad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we I, think, off? <laughs> I think we've forgotten how to do that. Right, <laughs> I'm going to leave is. Kelly talking. I'm going to find the iPad. So yeah, so that's the difference. So if you just think of it as your yeah, R44 seats as safe seats and then R129 eye size as safer seats. They've been higher tested. They use, um, you found it, yeah. they've um, used more um, technology um, in the dummies, their Q series of dummies, and they've got more sensors on the body so they can know exactly what happens to baby in a collision. I'm back. She's nobody, back. Nobody noticed. It yeah, was fine. Yeah, I just carried on chatting. Nobody time. noticed. So we've got lots more people. If you've got any questions, <laughs> Do just give us a shout. Um, today we are looking in particular at um, the Cybex rotating system, modular system, and also 
the Maxi Cozy Rotating Modular System. Modular system just meaning that you've got two car seats, or in the case of Maxi Cozy, three car seats, that you can use on the same base. So it just travels with you through baby's journey from birth up to around four years old. And we have got an amazing prize today, haven't yep. we? What's our prize today, Kelly? Two £25 vouchers, um, so two winners um, for you to use as you wish. And you can use them online or you can use them in store against anything that you wish. Yep. So we've got um, lots of people saying, I've got somebody said they love the Cybex brand. Let me, brands. Let me yep. find it. Gem Crittenden, love the Cybex brand. So do we, Gem. You're in yep. very, very good company. Um, Maya Davda says she's looking forward to learning about the Maxi Cozy 360 seat. Well, yep. you are in the right place. Patty M says, hi, girls. Hello. Hi, Patty. Good morning to you. Ashton Spicer says, they both look really good. They do. They yeah. are, though. This is, yeah. this is the thing. They are really good. And mm. when we've had customers in store over the last sort of few weeks, yeah, it's been quite a tricky decision for a lot of yeah. people. There's just kind of one thing that sets them apart, isn't there? And obviously we'll go through those features. Um, but there's kind of like one major thing that if you think you must need, then it will make your decision a little bit easier. Oh, Coral Valentine Newton can finally watch again. Started work last week and start at 11.30. Now, you really oh, didn't plan that. Oh, timing. No, maybe no. we should just change our live. Just, her. just for Coral, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, Coral. She's missed you guys. Uh, watching live instead of later is so much better. No, we agree. It is the interaction really nice. that makes it, isn't it? We like Absolutely. talking to you and see so what you think. We're going to start. We'll swap places, shall we? We'll start with <laughs> dance our way across <laughs> this morning. Okay, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle across. We're going to start with the Cybex Cloud Z yes. system. So um, you start off with your infant carrier or you can also start off with your Serena Z. I will go through that one as well, but you can also use that from birth. So your Cloud Z is one of the longest lasting infant carriers because you can use it from birth up to 87 centimetres. So that which, is amazing, isn't it? So yeah, it's quite a big difference from like some that maybe are on from other brands are 75 centimetres. 87 centimetres is, is long time. Humongous. It's 15, almost university age. <laughs> well, maybe not quite university age. Nah, close. So, 15 to 18 months, averagely. So this is definitely one of the elements that stands the cloud Z apart from the crowds, isn't it? Yeah. The absolutely. length of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's a one-handed rotation. So you can do it to the car door side and it will go either direction. You just... Pull this, slide this, and then pull it round to the car door side. So it makes it a lot easier. That's the biggest thing about spin car seats. It makes access accessibility to the child so much easier. And we'll go to the car door. It's very clever. It knows it's the Cloud Z on there, which is an infant carrier, which doesn't fit forward it's magic. facing. So it How magically it know? knows it's just not to magic. let you go forward facing on there. So really <clears throat> brilliant feature. So it can't be misused, obviously, with car seats. People don't always read their instructions or maybe get things mistaken. So it's just another way of making sure that you're using it in the correct way. And while way. we have got it to the side, can we just get our cameraman just to come in and have a look at this massive, massive seat? Yeah. 87 centimetres, kind of your average, <coughs> almost two-year-old really, isn't it? 87 centimetres. Mm, um, obviously, it depends on the, age of your, uh, on the size of your child because yeah. all children are different shapes and sizes. But particularly for our taller parents coming into store, they do know with the Cloud Z that they've got that longevity, that baby's not going to outgrow it before they're ready to move on yeah, to the next seat. Absolutely. And we do get sent um, pictures um, of babies in their infant carriers. People think they've outgrown them and actually they've got quite a bit of use left of them. So it's a three-point harness. You just press your button to release that. One button to press and then you can move that out of the way. You do get a newborn insert in there, which I'll remove just so you can see the great size. So it's really easy. You just slide your harness through it. And this is your newborn insert. You've even got your little guide on here, so you don't have to refer to instructions. Use this from 45 to 60 centimetres, which is when you can use it. Start using this 45 uh, centimetres or birth, and then take this out 60 centimetres. So as soon as they're over, whip this out. I do like the fact it's got on there, the 60 centimetres, yeah. because it's a very, very common question. People don't know when to take, to take their out. inserts out. Most, most um, eye size infant carriers that go on... Um, height. They are 60 centimetres generally, aren't they? They are, but I still think parents don't necessarily know. So no. to have it and there, sometimes it's, it's it, not, is it? If, if they don't physically fit in the seat anymore, it needs taken out sooner. Yeah, and potentially. You know, we lose our instruction. I am terrible at losing the instructions for everything. So to have it there 
on hand is really, really useful. Yeah. So you can see there with it out, it's a much more spacious seat. It's not push pushing baby into a more flat position anymore. They can sit deeper in the seat. And then your adjustability. You're right, Heidi Smith. It is huge. It is. Huge. Your adjustability is done with a little toggle at the back. You can pull that right up there, tighten your harness, and then you've got it there for a bigger charge. You still use your hood, which is an independent hood, which we love rather than having it attached to your handle. And then this you can store for another baby. We always it. say with the Cloud Z, with the Pebble 360, any infant carrier at all, make sure you keep those inserts. Yeah, because absolutely. Because if another baby comes along, they're not safe for a newborn without those inserts. No, so make sure you keep them. Those. And if you are using it for a second child and you're not sure whether you've got the right inserts, just send us a photograph and we'll double check for you. Yeah. Um, I said to Joe earlier, just pop that wing out, but what I actually meant was the LSP system, which is your linear side impact protection. Um, basically, Wings better though. Wings? Yeah. LSP, yeah. wing. LSP. Yeah, it's not going to fly yeah. though, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> pop that out and what that does, it sends the energy in a side impact collision around the side of the seat rather than directly into the side of the child and reduces the forces back to 20% or over 20%, I think it actually is. That's massive. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Massive. Absolutely massive. But you can pop them in, it doesn't have to be out both sides, it can just be out your door side. At your door side. And you can or obviously pop them in once you put it on the chassis of your pushchair, which we'll show you. Uh, yes. Surely we've got a few people asking about, can we put it on the chassis of the pushchair? Yes, yes we can. can, we can, we can, we can. So by spinning it, to this, you've got a button at either side, so you can do that. You can also pop your handle back if you want to, but it has to be in the right position when you're travelling. And also pop your hood back. To make um, it a bit easier to get them in there. And when baby is a little bit older, you're probably just going to use this as a spin seat anyway. You're less likely to they use it on the chassis. They soon get heavy, don't they, do. they, to take them out of the car. They so do, by but having the swivel. Quite nice having that swivel. Almost mm. a lot of people will have a toddler spin seat. And for mm. a lot of people, that is a must, must, must have. But yep. even to be able to do it with um, your infant carrier, you've got the ability to put it on the chassis if you push chair, yep. but also use it almost as your toddler seat. Because let's face it, once they get to seven, eight months, they're still quite chunky monsters they are. sometimes. They are. Um, so price-wise, your car seat, your Cloud Z is 239.95, and then your base is 199.95. If you don't want the spin rotation, I know we're talking about the spins, but there is the base Z one. If you wanted it as a spare in somebody else's car, yep. or you just wanted to bring down that budget a little bit, you can buy the base Z one, which is just stays in the one direction, doesn't spin, and that's 149.95. So 50 pounds difference if you want to do. Just bring the price down a bit, but still use a really good... I think for my first car that I was using it all the time, for me, that spin is just mm. amazing. Yeah. But you're right, it's if an you've option. got a second car, <clears throat> yeah. it is quite a nice way to bring that budget down um, a little bit as Absolutely. well. Um, you just To release it from the car, you've just got your button on the front. On your base, I'll show you how to install it in a second, but to remove it, just lift this up, she says. There you go, got something stuck there, I think. There you, go. you just lift up. And then you can take it off and pop onto your pushchair chassis. This is the um, Priam chassis I've got here, so it pairs nicely with it being the same brand, but it, you can be used on lots of different brands on universal adapters. One of the things that sets the Cloud Z apart is the fact that it reclines. So, so talk, not only is it the biggest infant carrier on the market, it also reclines on the chassis of your pushchair. Can you see how this bit really comes out and opens baby up into that um, new, in that flat position. So we talk quite a lot about newborn babies shouldn't be in their car seats for longer than half an hour of time for those six to eight weeks um, kind of time period where they're very small, very scrunched up, um, and it's better for them to be laid in a flat position, which is why you usually carry a cot for the first six months. So if you're loving the Cloud Z that we're showing you this morning, Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to know whether you are impressed. Do you like the fact that it's really, really spacious, goes up to that 87 centimetres? Do you like the fact <coughs> that it reclines on the chassis of your pushchair or once you get into the home? Yeah. Do you like the wings? I'm going to call them wings because everybody knows yeah. in the car. Do, yeah, these extra little features make it an incredible seat, doesn't it? They do, yeah. So um, the fact that you can do that, more are you looking more of a two-hour time frame rather than half an hour. So it does mean that if you're thinking about using your pushchair, your car seat, sorry, on your chassis, um, a little bit more often, then it's a great feature to have and keep them in a... In We've a got lots position. of thumbs up for Cybex this morning. Lots yeah. and lots of thumbs up for I Cybex. Think so. Um, we've got lots of people joining us. I'm trying to scroll through your questions. If you've got any questions or any comments, do let us know. Today we are giving away two vouchers that can be used either in store, online or online. Beep, beep. 
Right. Maybe, as you can hear there, when you're installing, it will beep if your leg's not done correctly. So to install this, what you're doing, you're independently putting each arm out one at a time. So you've got them extended, and then all you're going to do is going to push them onto your isofix points until this turns to green. And then you're going to push it all the way up, get the side on, so that this your rebound section touches firmly at the back of your seat. And that's a bit that a lot of people miss, isn't it? Yeah. They don't push their base back into their seat. And then you have a lot of movement with the seat and that people panic a little bit that it's not being done correctly. So then next stage is going to be popping that leg out until the beeping stops and you've got another green um, indicator on the top there. This one is to say that that is in a travelling position. As soon as you move it, that one turns again to red. And then finally, this one is just to let you know the car seat's on correctly. And any of our spin seats, baby must be in a um, the, the correct travelling position, mustn't they? Yeah, so with you our can't travel carriers, in the side yeah, in the no, spin and position. I, think I have seen people go down the road with their child in the side position, and it's Feeding just them, not safe. sat next to them. Yeah. But when you're in the car, let's say you stop at a service station and you need to just give baby some food or something, yeah. obviously it's quite nice to turn them around to see. Yeah, them. absolutely. But yeah, travelling... It's a no. Rebecca Robinson has said, <coughs> with the clown said being bigger, is it heavier? It is a little bit heavier than other options because it's obviously got your mechanical feature inside that it can recline. I think that's what makes it a little bit heavier yeah. as and well. Yeah, and it is a bigger seat, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it you know, it is a bigger seat. It is. So, this is your Serona. Z and this is 269.95 you can either use it as a next stage seat so after baby's outgrown the infant carrier about 18 months old you can then use the next stage seat will take you up to 105 centimeters which is around four years old um, or it does go from birth it's got a newborn insert in as well that you can use up to that 60 centimeters the same so you can use it from birth as well so what are the pros and cons between using a seat like this from birth and also using an infant carrier? So if you were using, sorry, I've moved it out of the recline position and now I can't get to time. Let's have a look at where the bar is. So you do need to have this just in the correct position, you don't do. you, to pop it on? You kind of have to line it up. So if you line it up at the front there and then drop it on, which I cannot do right now. It's because we're live, you see. It's because we're live. I'm doing well, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, there while go. Kelly there we go. gets... Oh, you've done it. Well done. Oh, well done. Oh, I feel a bit hot and dusty now. now. Yeah. So, but that is it in a recline it position. Is a, it is a bigger C. You've got to get it lined up. Yeah. But once it's in, you're going to leave it in. Yeah, it's you? not one that you're going to be taking out regularly, so it's much easier to pop your cloud Z on. So, with this one, if you were going to use it from birth, you would have it in the more recline position with newborn insert in and the headrest in the lowest position. And that would then allow you to use it from birth up to 105 centimetres, rear facing the entire time if you wanted to, or forward facing at a minimum of 15 months um, if you wanted to. Now see, we've got all green indicators on the front to let us know we're on properly. Philippa Hunt says, it was the pressure. I know, a week, well, off, it, a week off and yeah. a bank holiday is definitely the pressure. <clears throat> and Heidi says, it's definitely a knack to doing it. Yeah, it is, again, but um, yeah. it's not that tricky. If you have it, it in, you want to take it off the when you're taking it off, take it off in the more right position, and then line it up with this kind of like three little a little T section. It's not teeth; it's just like a jagged section at the front. If you line that up with the front and have it in the more right position, it's a lot easier to just pop it straight on. So for this one to rotate, you can't reach these side buttons anymore. So what you're gonna do is you put it in the more right position, and then just one more, which will then allow you to um, spin to the side. Now we've got it here in black, it's got a little mark on the top of there, don't that's that chalk, I think it's come off somewhere, I've had it on the floor I think. There we go. So this is your newborn insert that's under here, it also pads out the headrest as well, but then once that is in the more right, at uh, the highest position, that's it then say without this in, um, up to 105 centimetres, which is your average four year old. It will also forward face if this is in the higher position. So if it's here, it won't allow it to, but once it passes the stage, which is over your 15 months, average child, it will allow you to forward face. So again, it's very clever. I think it, is, it should yeah. be called the Cybex Magical Seat. <laughs> I thought you said the Cybex Clever Seat. Clever Seat, Magical Seat. Harness there is easy to use. Same kind of button on your Cloud Z. So if you're moving from one seat to the other, it's quite familiar to use. Put those two buckles together. Fasten it in. 
sorry, the label's in the way. Got a few people asking about whether nice. these come in different colours. We've Lots got of different our colours. matching black, black out today. Yeah. But yes, loads and loads of colours. You may see we often demonstrate with our autumn gold, which is a nice the hero colour, burnt isn't it? orange colour, which is really lovely. But you can go a little bit off piece. There's a Ferrari design for your infant carrier, isn't there? Yep. You can get spring blossom, which is a nice floral design. Pink, Pink navy. Yeah, or you block colours as well. There's a really a bright colour, the, the mustardy colour. There is. And khaki as well. Yeah. Mountain Beige. blue. So, yeah, loads and loads of choice. Now, the thing to bear in mind is that whatever pram system you have, generally, once you take off your carry cart or your seat unit, all you're going to see is the chassis. So, we have a lot of customers who might just have a plain grey or black pram, but then with their car seat, they might go for something a little bit brighter and different. Because once you pop it on the chassis of your pushchair, you can't see all the other fabrics. No, you're never going to have your carry cart, your car seat, or your seat unit on at the same time. So, it doesn't matter if they don't match unless you specifically want them to match. Um, so the Serena's Edge you can use from 45, so from birth up to 105 centimetres if you want to. You've got your same LSP system that you just flick out the side, uh, which again does the same job as on the Cloud Z and reduces that side impact um, forces. So it goes up to 105 centimetres, mm -hmm. that's your average four-year-old, isn't yes, it? Now it is. lots of people, and you can keep this rear facing all the time, mm -hmm. but lots of people worry about their legs, don't they? Yes, yeah, so you don't have to worry about their legs. Their knee um, caps aren't fully formed from a young age, and they'll just cross them, they'll put them up on the seat. It's fine for them to do that. Um, and we would always recommend keeping our little ones rear facing for as long as possible. Yep. Yeah. So 15 months is the minimum on your eye size regulation, two years is even better, four years is brilliant and obviously there are seats, past these seats, that can then take them up to 25 kilos instead of your maximum of 18 kilos and might be up to six, seven years old. So fundamentally, rear facing is the safest, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, we've had a look at our Cybex um, uh, Z system, <coughs> okay, and mm -hmm. then they do do another seat in their range um, which they can grow out of that and then be in the high back booster as well. But we'll cover that one on another yeah. day. Serena S, if you want to go from birth um, as well, you can go for the Solution S, which is very similar to the Solution Z on the base side. It allows the swivel, but it's not a modular system. You don't take the seat off. It just stays on all the time. So we've got a few questions about the fabrics. Are they washable? Yeah, you can take them off and wash them at 30. We've got standard fabrics out here, which is your um, 23995 and 26995 prices, but you can upgrade those and go for plus fabrics, which is a textured fabric. Um, and you can upgrade to those as well. They're just a little bit more money. So it's 264.95 on your Cloud Z or 294.95 on your Serena Z. Very good. You're a fount of knowledge this morning, Kelly. Now that I've got my paper, I will I not have remembered the prices. The, the other stuff I can kind of remember, but prices. No. No. So, this is our Cybex system. We're going to move and look at the brand new Maxi Cozy system at the moment. Thank you so much for joining us. If you've hit share, please do tell us because we'd like to say thank you because sharing is caring, as they say. <laughs> um, and we are giving away two gift vouchers today that can be spent in store or they can be spent online. £25 each, isn't it? Is. So we will draw the winner shortly. All you need to do is just ask us any questions you like. If you've hit share, thank you very much. So, shall we swap? Put you on the no, I'm not going to do a dance again. this time. Oh, I'm okay. not going to do a dance. Okay. So, yeah, this is the, Mac, uh, the brand new uh, Maxi Cozy um, 360 family. So in the family, there are three car seats and one base. So you can use all those car seats on there. So this is the Pebble 360 which is £199 and comes in a few different colours to choose from. You've also got the um, Pearl 360, which is either your next stage or you can also use that from birth as well, just like you can the Serena Z. And then finally, you've got the Coral 360, which has only just um, come out. Well, it will be coming in more in store this month. Um, and that is like the, cor the original Coral that you can take your insert out. So, so but today we're going to use concentrate... It on the on Politics, the Pebble 360, yeah. aren't we? We are. So, um, spinning this one is really easy. You've got this lever here and you literally, one hand. I do like the fact it's a nice, chunky lever. It's easy to get hold of, isn't it? it? Is. It's very, really very simple. Very simple. Um, so really easy to do and you can see on there now it does show as red because we're not in the travelling position. Once you then switch it back round, you're back to green again. So your base on this is installed in exactly the same way. You release your isofix arms, do your leg, 
and then everything is green and correct. Green and good to good go. Good to go. Um, you've got red here, so once your car seat is off the base, this is going to turn from uh, green to red. And you've got your independent hood, which we love that they've taken. We love this. independent hoods, don't we? Do. We do. It's, we a bit, do. it's just a bit awkward and not great when they touch the handle. No, no. So well done, Maxi Cozy um, and Cybex for doing independent hoods on yeah. these products. Um, again, you've got a three-point harness, which you just press the button there to release, and then you can tighten again. Really nice and smooth and easy to do. You've got a newborn insert in this one, which again goes up to 60 centimetres, and it is printed on your newborn insert, so you know when to take it out. Just there, if Jose wants to come in. Or we could take it out and move it around. Jose, oh, yeah. now I'm like going to make him balancing just around. Maneuver. And to take the newborn insert out, you just literally pull it out in one piece. It's really easy to do. Laura so you can see. is asking, is there any audible, uh, audio feedback if the seat isn't properly installed Not for this, this one? No, no there all is on visual. the Cybex, but the yeah. Maxi Cozy is all visual. But it's really easy to see, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that is the, the wedge kind of shape that keeps baby in a flatter position um, in the car seat for the first few weeks of their life and can be used to 60 centimetres. Once that's out, you've then got a built-in headrest a little toggle again here, which you can then use to pull and move up and down for bigger babies. This one goes up to 83 centimetres, so not quite as much as your cloud Not said. quite as much cloud as just peeped it at the post yeah. on that one. But it is decent but size, more, isn't it? Yeah, but more than other. The, some of their other seats only go up to 75 centimetres, so to go to 83 is much, much better. Lovely fabrics used. Like we said, the hood. To remove this one, you've got your button at the front. Just lift that and you can lift away from the base. It nice is and very easy. easy to take on yeah. and off, isn't it, this one? You've got a nice ergonomic handle, so it's nice to carry and lots of safety features built into the seat. So a few of those is G-Cell technology. So if you think about it, it's like little hexagons built into the side of the seat um, and it, it disperses the energy rather than all being in one. And it's one very, position. very strong as well. If you think of like yeah. a beehive. Yeah, same kind of concept. Or that, that don't kind of thing. Yeah. infant carrier. No, you've yeah. also got these um, airflow panels. It uses climber flow technology and materials, so this passes air through into the seat. So it's going to make sure, especially weather like we've been having this weekend, <gasps> to get uh, to make sure we're not getting those sweaty babies. And was babies do sweat in their infant they carriers? Yeah, they, they really, do. really do. So that's a really nice feature. We've got somebody asking, um, Kira knew it says, is this one heavy to carry around? No, not particularly. I mean, they all get heavy once there's a baby in there, but yeah. um, this isn't overly heavy. It is heavy. slightly lighter, isn't it, yeah. than your clouds there? And it's really easy just to pop straight back on and uh, remove again. <clears throat> I'll just show you, in the, on the base, you do have a switch. So rather than the, um, the base head kind of by Cybex kind of knows what's on there and it knows roughly when baby can forward face, this one you've got to make that choice. So switch this way, it knows it's 15, uh, 15 months or under and it won't allow you to forward face. Switching that will then allow the base to do a full 360 and go all the way around. But as we said earlier, we would recommend <coughs> to keep little one rear facing for as long as possible. Yeah, it does still um, allow you to do your rear facing for the entire time. So again, as it's an infant carrier, convenience wise, rather than having a car seat that stays in the car, you can use it on your pushchair chassis. This is used on an Adora chassis, it's actually the Adora Lux, which is why well, it's got your chrome frame, but all Maxi Cozy, um, I love it, I lost my breath then. All, my, all Maxi Cozy pushchairs, um, you can use it on, uh, as well as lots of other brands. Uh, the universal adapters that you, you, you get with most um, car seats, uh, sorry, with most push chairs, we kind of call it the Maxi Cozy one because it's the same adapter that they first created. So and <coughs> all we need to do is, if you're not sure whether the Pebble 360 or your Cloud Z or any other infant carrier fit on the chassis of a push chair, just get in touch and we will check. We just need to check it's been safety tested for you. Just tip tested to make sure that by having that on a different weight to what was originally created with the push chair isn't going to cause that to tip over. And we need to keep our yeah. baby's safe. We do. Lots of different brands and they just added up a baby to the Vista and the Cruise to the list. We've had confirmation that this morning. Yep, the good news. Yes, good news. Know quite a few people have been asking. Um, to remove it on a push chair that is maxi cosy, these do turn into um, memory buttons. 
So other ones you may have to just press at the same time, but you can just lift away with one hand if you want I to. I do like that feature. That yeah. does make it easier because, you know, let's face it, your infant heavy carrier that. is heavy once it's got a baby in it. It is, yeah. But it does allow you to do that. So we'll leave that on there. That is your Pebble 360. It's a beautiful seat, really different to the original. It's had some really good um, upgrades and how it works. And comes different. in four different colours. Yes. So we've got it here in essential grey. The reason we have essential grey <coughs> out is it's quite a bluey grey, isn't it? It is, yeah. Essential graphite, which is a darker grey. Essential black, which, hey, guess what? It is it's black. black. And essential green, guess what? It's green. And it's, it's a beautiful green. It is beautiful. It's been really popular, it's like hasn't it? A, sage green isn't it yeah yeah it's a good description so, know, i'm glad you liked my description there okay so again find your point where you want to put it on and you can then use this so this is your pearl 360 you can use this from birth i'm just checking my measurements and um, so 40 centimeters again up to um 105 centimeters so averagely four year old and uh, that one th that one the serona said has got an 18 kilo weight limit but this is 17.5, we've taken it down slightly. So quick question from Lorna Munson, who asked, would the Pebble Pro fit on the 360 base? No. No, you need to have... A three, if, if it's you, got 360 in the name, it will fit on the 360 base. So it does anyway. your choice of infant carriers for your 360 base, <coughs> uh, Maxi Cozy 360 base, are the Maxi Cozy Pebble 360 and the Maxi Cozy Coral 360. Yep. You're looking at the Family Fix um, 2 or 3 base for your Pebble Pro. If you're not sure, you've got an infant carrying, you're not sure which basic needs, do get in touch and we'll be able to help you. So, five point harness on this seat, um, newborn insert again is the same, 40 to 60 centimetres to use that in the seat. And then once you take it out, this is your newborn insert for your pearl. It's a much bigger, deeper seat for your older child and you can then adjust your headrest into that higher position. Um, I didn't actually mention it on the pebble but I will also show you again this is a stay open harness so you can see how it just kind of holds itself up out the way I like that feature so you can pop baby in without sitting them on all this and then having to dig it out from underneath them it kind of holds itself up in place and you've got the same um, easy stay you open know, I wish all car seats did that easy. I think it is something that is quite simple but yeah. very useful for parents Put in, well I was just gonna say I'll just grab my baby, Do baby? From down here oh careful oh, sorry little one by putting them in you can see straight away then i know it's not in the right position for her but straight away i've not had to dig underneath for a harness because it's all ready so we did have a question earlier while we we're on to harnesses how do you know where the harness should be on any of these seats so if you've got a child that is rear facing i actually want to drop a little bit lower for her so rear facing it wants to come out level or if you have to just below their shoulders but never above. Never above. That's only for a forward facing. That she wants to be level or just slightly above. So you want to tighten up first from your waist straps. Hold it together so you can make sure that it's sitting nicely on the shoulders rather than hanging off. So you can hold it together here and then give it a good tighten. And you want to be able to tighten it so you can put two fingers in there, the collarbone, but not turn them. So those people who have a dog, it's the same as a dog collar, apparently, isn't it? Yes, apparently so. Apparently this so. actually, she's probably not quite um, the height not to use the newborn insert because it's slightly above her shoulders. So she would still need that newborn insert, wouldn't she? But we've got yeah. the idea of how we're going to do it. So if they're rear facing, which we would obviously recommend for all these seats, whether it's your infant carrier or your next stage yep. seat, and it's just for both Cybex and Maxi Cozy, it should be on their shoulders or just below if you can't move it up a notch. <clears throat> if we're going to rear face when, uh, sorry, forward face when they're older, where should Which this won't do at the minute because we've not adjust, uh, adjusted the thing underneath, but yeah, should be level or just above. So, rear facing, shoulders or just below, forward facing, shoulders or just above. Yep. Again, you've got the g cell technology. Actually, on this seat, you can kind of see the hexagonal shapes, which are all around the edge. You've kind of got them there, the g cell, And you've also got your climber flow materials um, and air passing through these panels. So Laura's asking about the essential green, um, saying it's sold out on our store. We've got, um, we have got some more in transit to us. So if you send us a Facebook message, Laura, we can sort that out for you, no problem. We're just waiting for more stock to arrive. It's sold out. It has been so popular. No, so, so popular. Yeah. 
It's definitely given the clouds better room for its money since it's it arrived really in the store. It really has. It really has. So price-wise, you've got your Pebble 360s, £199, and your Family Fix 360 base is £199. So around £400 um, for that set. And then once you move on to Pearl 360, if you're using it from birth or if you're using it as an next stage sheet, it's £279. Um, and then you've got your Coral 360, which is slightly more because you've got that insert that you can take out, and that's £239. But we have this week got 10% off Maxi Cozy, haven't we? We do. Maxi Cozy. So, well, not just Maxi Cozy. So um, we have actually extended. We had a bank holiday sale with 10% off full priced items. There are some exclusions. Um, but we've actually extended it this week because the weather has put us in a good mood. So we thought we'll do it this week as well. So it's actually on until Sunday. So you can use the, co uh, the code MAYBEH10 and that will get you 10% off your full price items. Like Joe said, if there's things that are not in stock, just give us a call or send us a message and we can still put your order through and it'll just be on a pre-order basis and we'll send it out once it arrives. Yeah. So there are some exclusions, so just get in touch um, and we will be more than happy to help you. Absolutely. That was a pregnant pause, wasn't it, if ever I heard one? <laughs> so let's see whether we've got any questions. Um, we, uh, Rebecca Robinson says, wow. Zoe Toombs is um, giving us a smiley face. Give us a heart if you like the Maxi Cozy system. In fact, let's have a little bit of a head-to-head. -head. Oh, it, I think so. Give us a heart if you love Maxi Cozy. Give us a thumbs up if you love Cybex. Are we going to, what's going to be, we, we, no, we've got hearts. We've definitely got some hearts. The new kid on the block is, is gaining some I've flipped the switch there. there so it allows you to forward face. Obviously, this is a very small baby and we're not... Oh, Cybex is making a little late. Come and look, look. We've got oh, lots yeah. of thumbs up now for Cybex. Yeah. No, they're both really good brands. They really they focus are. on the car seat safety. They go one step further with their testing, and they score really well on the independent testing as well. And um, the Cloud Z, it's got 1.7, which is a really nice low score, which is what we want to see. So this um, is Laura McKellen. With this is what Kelly's talking about now is the independent <coughs> score testing. Yeah. So. Laura Lou said, are they both tested to a high standard? Yes, these yeah. are both car seat brands, Yeah, they're aren't specifically, they? it's not just a pushchair brand that's maybe added in a generic car seat just to use it as a travel system. They do focus on um, their car seats. And they do, and, and they design them from the ground up, and there's, a, there's lots of people behind the scenes working on yeah. that safety, isn't it? You may not know that some, car, uh, some push share brands, they kind of just, they just buy the design of a push uh, a car seat, don't they, and just like add their own little bits onto it. But these are, they're their car seats that they've designed. It's not one that they've just bought in from somewhere. So today we are giving away two vouchers for £25. All you needed to do is to join in with the chat today. We've had side by side today, we've had the um, Cybex uh, Cloud Z, followed by um, Serona Z, and then we've put it next to the Maxi Cozy Pebble 360, followed by the Maxi Cozy Pearl 360. We've had lots of All people. All used on the Family Fix 360 base. Yeah, we've had lots of people asking us to compare and contrast these two car seats. Um, I, think, I think the biggest thing to compare them, the, them both and that sets them both apart, because they are both offer really good um, safety technology, is if you need a reclining seat or anticipate using that infant carrier on your chassis more often than not, then maybe the Cloud Z would be for you because it's got the recline feature that the Pebble 360 doesn't have. And we're finding but our twin parents as well are loving this, aren't yeah. they? Just because of, it's a feature that's very, very easy and very, very simple. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but if you're not as bothered about that feature, you just want to use a car seat generally, mainly in the car, then um, the Pebble 360 is absolutely fantastic. You still use it on your push share chassis, you've just limited it the first to half an hour time. I'm thinking back to two customers I had over the weekend. One went for Cloud Z. Yep. And they were... Tall people, shall I say? They were incredibly tall people. To have that longevity of the largest infant carry was really, I'm really giants in store. Yeah, absolute giants. They could even reach the top shelves of our new stands. Wow, That's how big they Very were! Well. But for them, <clears throat> that one may not have been quite right. So they went Cloud Z because of that longevity. Yeah. And also, they they do quite a lot of travelling. They often have quite a full boot. So again, to be able to recline it on the chassis of the pushchair was absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. My other customer, on the flip side, um, was a bit shorter than me, and she really struggled with the weight of this. So the because um, she was unsure which one to get. Yeah. So they ended up with a Pebble 360 mm -hmm. just because it was a lot lighter. Yeah. But any car seat's heavy with a baby in it. It is. Just yeah. to remind you that when you come in store and test them out, you're not going to be carrying it empty. Yeah. Unfortunately. No. 
So we can put our weighted babies <coughs> in, of course. Yeah, and you can have a little a little field. It's how it does feel. Really so nice. I think we should draw our winner. But before winner. we do, thank you for joining winner. us with our lives. We are back um, most weekdays round about half past 11. We've got an exciting one tomorrow. Um, we have got our new stands in. So we're going to show you a little bit more into store, some of the bits and pieces that have changed. And we've got two vouchers for £100 tomorrow. So Two vouchers? One voucher. <laughs> <laughs> Two vouchers are today. Two vouchers today, one voucher tomorrow. So tomorrow you could win a £100 voucher. So make sure you join us tomorrow. And the £100 voucher is to use if you've decided on Oyster 3, um, your Egg 2 or Prestige, then it's a £100 voucher to use towards um, one of those brands. One of those brands. So make sure you join us tomorrow. So Kyra knew it before we draw our winner. said, how much was the Cybex again? Do you want to just run through the prices again yeah, for us? <clears throat> Oh, so, Rebecca Robinson said, <clears throat> glad you're back. We're glad we're back too. So your Cybex Cloud Z is $239.95. Um, if you decide to go on a plus colour, it's $264.95. And that goes from birth up to 87 centimetres, which is approximately 18 months old. Maximum of 13 kilos though. Your base Z, which you use both car seats on, is $199.95. You are a very air, air hostess. Yep. Um, $199.95, or you can choose the base Z1, which is $149.95, but it doesn't swivel. Your Serona Z is $269.95. If you decide on a plus colour, it's $294.95. And that goes from birth to 105 centimetres or a maximum of 18 kilos, averagely four years old. <sighs> for a, a Maxi Cozy. <clears throat> um, you can buy, oh. um, I was just going to say, you can buy in a pre -am bundle as well with a Cloud Z um, and Base Z for £1,509.75p. And you can also put it with the Balios, you can put it with, you any, can with the Gazelle, yep. all kinds of different... Um, yeah, I've just said that because that's what we've got out, but yeah. Uh, Maxi Cozy Pebble 360, slightly cheaper as well, so that if that's a consideration, that's a, a, a plus for the Pebble. So Pebble 360 is £199, um, you can use that from birth up to um, 83 centimetres, maximum 13 kilos still though, which should take you to about 15 months. Your Family Fix 360 base, which you use both these on, is £199. Your Pearl 360, whether you use it from birth or as your next stage seat, from uh, 40 to 105 centimetres, which is your average four-year-old, is £279. And if you like the Coral 360, which is the new seat that we don't have out yet, um, that has the newborn insert, not the newborn insert, it kind of comes out of the shell. You can carry it around the entire time if you wanted to take it in the house. Um, that is slightly more at 239. Heidi Smith says, well done today, cameraman lady. It's a cameraman, <coughs> he's called Jose and he's lovely. <laughs> so, um, and you can put it in a bundle with um, any of the Maxi Cozy seats or any of the other seats as well. Push chairs. Yes. <laughs> If you want to buy it with other car seats, buy it with other car seats too. Yeah, or you'll never have too many car seats. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Talking of car seats, did you have different car seats in different cars for yours? Yes. So shall I say Tristan? Yeah. So Tristan had a kiddie, either Luna, I size reclining seat, mm -hmm. reclines in and out of the car, has his main infant carrier, and then I used my Pebble Plus. It would have been. Yep, sorry. which I yep. had for Tilly, my middle child, as my spare car seat if I was going out in mum dad's car or in Matt's car because I just belt that in and you couldn't belt the kiddie in. Yeah, you see, I had different seats. I tended to use the same infant carrier, mm -hmm. but then once we got onto, if you like, the heavier seats. Oh, yeah, then I've you've had, got them everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so I have one in my car, one in my husband's car, yeah. and actually my parents had car seats as well, so yeah. that we didn't have to move them. And they still have a car seat. Florence is still in a high back booster and will be for a considerable amount of time. Yep. So we, I have one in my car, my husband's car, although they're not really mine in his cars, they're just family cars. And, and then switch. also, yeah, then also my parents have one as well. So yeah, yeah. we are quite and lucky you don't, though. Some, sometimes you don't have, you, if, depending on budget, you might not have the same car seat in every car. You might switch brands, that's fine. Yeah, so right. As long as it's right for the car and right for the child, it's fine. So, oh, Claire Gray says, excited to come and visit you over the weekend to have a closer look. Claire, we've just bought new biscuits in, so there is a choice of biscuits now. I have not tried those biscuits yet this morning. Haven't you? No. Nope. Lie. You lie. Well, I think we'll have one when we come off here. So, um, yeah, come in, and, come in and eat biscuits. Yes, because this weekend, again, we will be open for um, walk-ins as well as appointments. Now, every day, seven days a week, you can just walk in. Yeah. Anytime, as long as we're open. Yeah, 
As long, yeah, don't come at night because we're not here. We're not here. But um, if you're looking for some a time that is quieter, at the weekends, first thing in the morning is the quietest time of the day. So if you are an early riser, we definitely recommend getting here for sort of nine o'clock, half past nine. Um, if you're coming in the week, obviously the weekdays are quieter than the weekend days. So if you are able to come in the week, um, we do recommend it because there's a little... You won't have as, as much a wait. We do have our busy times in the week as well, but you won't have as long to wait, um, potentially. But we have got three new ladies in the store at the weekend now. We do. So That's they exciting. are doing really well, aren't they? Really well, really lovely enthusiastic. Ladies. Three lovely, lovely ladies. So there are lots of staff around to help you at the weekends as well, too. Yeah. So shall we draw our winner? Z. Z. How many winners today? How many winners? Two today, Joe. Two today. One tomorrow. Um, yeah. Kyra says, where are you based? She's in Northamptonshire. So we are based in Lincolnshire. So actually, we have a lot of customers from Northamptonshire. Yeah, we do. So it's not that far. We've got I went park... last weekend and had a few, a couple of... Yeah, them. yeah, quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. Um, we've got parking outside the door. Um, so you don't have to struggle with your parking. And the coffee machine is on. And there's nursing chairs to have a sit down. So if you've had a bit of a long journey, you need a bit of a chill. It's no toilets. problem. There we do toilet. have toilets. We have baby changing facilities. We have a fridge with cold drinks in because it's getting a bit sun sunny now. And we've just... Yes, restocked. Kelly's got her toes out. I you know, know look at you. We're like, we're like opposite. I've got my boots on and you've got your You're sandals on. You're expecting cold weather out there today. Yeah, I am. I am. I didn't look out the window when I got ready this morning. So let's draw our winner. The way that we draw our winner is I just scroll up and down and Kelly's going to shout stop and we will find out who is our first winner. Today we go, Kelly. So our first winner is Lisa Broomfield. So congratulations, Lisa. Lisa, congratulations. All you need to do is send us a message um, and we will get that sorted for you. I'm just writing congratulations so we don't lose it. Yeah, just message us um, with your details and we will send a voucher over to you or if you come into store, we can do it that way. So either way is fine. So we're going to draw a second winner because not not just one winner today, two winners so I'm going to scroll again. It could be you. It could be you. Whenever you're ready, Kelly. So, so our winner is Maya Davda. So Maya Davda, congratulations. She says she's coming in for the biscuits. Oh. I hope she's coming in to see us as Come well. Come in for the biscuits and uh, spend your £25 voucher on them. So congratulations to you as well. I've just written congratulations so that we can find it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Make sure you join us tomorrow, round about half past 11. Kelly and I will be back to show you some of the new bits and pieces that we have in store. A rather large stand of beautiful pushchairs. It is huge. 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 And so I have pretty. been told the biggest in the UK. Oh, get you. Yeah, get us with our very large stand. <laughs> so join us tomorrow, round about half past 11. But if you are at home today, just enjoy the sunshine. If you are on half term and you are surviving half term, well done. Because um, I think there's a lot of people on it's half term. It's only day two, guys. Day two. Day two. We can do it. Together we can do it. Mm. So, But enjoy the sunshine. At last we have some sunshine. So we will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much and thanks for filming, Jose. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. -bye.